You see that shore wall over my left shoulder fading into the distance? That's our marina. We're leaving it, finally. Right, finally all the projects are done on Boogaloo. <laughs> and we are on our way. We have a beautiful Sunday morning to start our vacation. And this will be the first big trip that we've taken in four seasons, my friends. So we are underway. We have a beautiful, nearly cloudless sky. It's really, really hot. And it's not too hot. It's just really warm out and the conditions are calm. And we have left. We went for our obligatory pump out, topped up the fuel tanks, and we're on our way. And we are heading straight that way. Yeah, it's been uh, four years. Uh, 2014 was the last time that we were along the stretch of the Trent Severn Waterway. And uh, of course that was with the big boat with Boogaboo 4. So this is familiar territory for us. Um, we traveled this way with uh, Boogaboo 4, the 400, or uh, Boogaboo 3, which was the 300 uh, Sundancer, and then prior to that, our 268 to 26 foot Sundancer. That's a lot of sea rays. Actually, as a matter of fact, it was 15 years ago, this month it would be, the very first time that we ever passed through a lock on the Trent Severn Waterway, and we were passing this way. This is eastbound on the system, eastbound from our home port, which is on Lake Simcoe, uh, which is the largest body of water along the Trent Severn Waterway. And this is what is commonly referred to in a disparaging way as the ditch. Because um, a good portion of it, but the first part of it, is basically man-made dug canals put in here 100 plus years ago. And so there are uh, just a lot of straight, slow runs. Kind of like the Erie Canal, I would imagine is. Haven't been there yet, but eventually. And so, yeah, we are heading, like I say, eastbound. Now, uh, the one thing that's going to be new to us is, not really new, but an update, is the government, uh, Park Scan has spent a ton of money on refurbishing a lot of the locks along the system here, the ones that were in uh, pretty uh, tough shape. They spent the winter working on them, and it was a big project. They were doing a lot of work. They were resurfacing the concrete walls. Uh, the approach walls and so on and so forth. So again, big job. And it was bigger than they anticipated because there was more damage than they uh, were hoping to find. So uh, the work that was supposed to be done at the beginning of the season, which is um, the long weekend of May, May 2-4 long weekend here in Ontario, is um, it was put back a little bit. 
and the first three locks were only what they called pass-through locks. You couldn't tie up or, or more for the night. And um, it was not till the end of June, June, about three weeks ago, that they actually opened them up to full service, except for one of the locks, which is still a pass-through because, again, there was a lot more uh, work than anticipated, which they're going to complete next year. Or sorry, this coming winter during the off-season. So I'll show you what that looks like when we get there. See you again. So we didn't get too, too far. We're only uh, three locks in from, from the lake, but that's okay. Cause it's getting to be, I'm looking at the chair plotter and soft, but it was uh, about 1.30 when we got here. And our next overnighting options on locks is concerned. The next two, the first one's not really recommended for overnighting because there's a lot of fishermen that show up there and can just disturb the force, you know what I'm saying? And then the next one past that, uh, can get a little busy too and it's not as picturesque as here so we have ooh, black flies we have planted our butts here for the afternoon and evening and if I slowly swing this camera around you can see anchor girl returning as we are taking our folding chairs and we're gonna sit up there in the shade and watch the pretty boats go by watch some boat TV yeah boat TV yeah, they just sent a big load through, at least one uh, looper, one big boy, but lots of big boats coming through now. So as you can see, this is what I was talking about, where there's the new construction where they've uh, repaired the lock walls. Nice new blue line there, very smart looking. And construction is just finishing up here. Well, they're done for the season anyways. Uh, so there's no grass yet growing there. I'm hoping that they're going to put grass in that space. But that's where Boogaboo is now for the day and for the evening. And it's a beautiful spot anyways. At least we're out of the marina. Parks Canada, if you're watching, and I know you do, uh, definitely more need more cleats along the walls there, my friends. Yeah, sorry for the potential wind noise, but we are parking ourselves right next to the lock. And like Anchor Girl says, we're going to watch some boat TV. Here at beautiful Lock 39, Portage Lock of the Trent Severn Waterway. Watching this uh, gentleman over here in that big boat. A looper and he is appears to be controlling that boat by remote control which is so awesome so that remote is going to operate as uh, bow and stern thrusters which is keeping him basically on station next to Boogaboo and it appears to be just a two-person crew nice well it's been a very warm day here day one of our holidays for 2018 hot and sunny but we've had a good time we met some folks that are doing the great loop and enjoyed a few cold ones with them and right now speaking of cold I got the generator I don't know if you can probably hear it in the background uh, Jenny is running on board Boogaboo and we're just trying to cool down the interior I got the air conditioning blasting as much as it can do and charging the batteries and whatnot and this is our spot for the evening. So I am looking forward to spending a nice quiet night once the generator goes off here at beautiful Lock 39 of the Trent Severn Waterway. Just had a nice quick shower on board. So feeling a little bit more refreshed. Uh, it is gonna be a hot one overnight. It's only gonna go down to like 22 or 23 Celsius. So that's low 70s Fahrenheit. So it's gonna be a warm one. So it's nice to uh, get the air on just to air the place out a little bit, have a shower, freshen up. Yeah. And call it a night. We shall see you tomorrow.
Well, it is 10 o'clock in the morning on our day two of our Summer Holidays 2018, and we are just departing our first overnight spot. Yesterday we had a nice afternoon. Um, as I think I mentioned, we, we stopped kind of early yesterday, but that's all right. Um, we tied up. It was really warm, so it was nice just to get off the boat and sit in the shade. We met up with some people uh, doing the Great Loop, a couple of loopers, and we spent a number of hours talking to them, boating stories back and forth, of course, had a really, really good time, enjoyed their company, enjoyed a couple of uh, cold ones, as you can imagine, on a beautiful summer day. And then we had our first overnight on this boat away from our home port, which was this year. nice. This year, yeah. So right now, Anchor Girl, Girl is doing the obligatory restocking of the fridge. This is gonna be another hot one. <laughs> you can probably tell by the sweat off my brow. It's only 10 o'clock in the morning and we are already into a very warm day. So we're gonna carry on and uh, head through uh, two, three, four, yeah, four more locks. Maybe. Maybe. Um, we're anticipating getting to Finland Falls today, but we'll see how it goes. It's supposed to be a mix of sun and cloud day so uh, the cloud is better for me for traveling because I'm not staring into the bright sunshine which always ensues in a headache for me so um, we're gonna take advantage of it. It's a light breeze which is nice just to um, try to cool things down a little bit but we did have an awesome time yesterday really nice good first day day one a uh, nice sleep on the boat like I said it was warm during the day but it cooled down at night to, to, to a reasonable amount, yeah. And an anchor girl had the fan going, and so it was nice. I actually, uh, at some point, <laughs> grabbed the blanket and pulled it over me last night. Um, so it was comfortable. Slept in this morning, which was nice. Just like being on the holidays. So that's it for uh, day one, and we will see you when we get to the next destination. Cheers. Bottles. Doing a fine job there, honey. <laughs> Cheers! Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe so you don't miss any of the new videos coming out. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Daily updates there and always lively conversation on Facebook so you don't want to miss it. And you can also follow us at BoatsBeachesAndBars.com where you're going to find even more links to all sorts of neat things including our online store. And you'll find all the links to everything mentioned up here down there in the description so you'll have no excuse not to follow along. Thanks again and we'll see you soon.